I'm Mr. Shields, and in this video, we are going to learn a little bit about OneNote class notebooks. OneNote class notebooks are a modern take on the traditional binder. I'm not sure about you, but when I was in school, I had a binder that looked a lot like this, and I had tabs for every subject, so I could flip through the day to geometry, or math, or reading, or whatever was needed. OneNote class notebook allows you as the teacher to create something like this for your students, but have it entirely in digital form. So instead of handing out all of these papers to students, you can create a tab for all of the tasks that you would like students to work on. Things like homework, test review, quizzes, etc. It's really limitless. And then you take the paper, distribute it to the students, so that it appears automatically in their notebook. Also, because it is a more modern take, you have the ability to have something called a collaboration space, where you can collaborate on documents directly with students. There's also something called the content library, which basically acts as a file cabinet in which you can create an original that students cannot edit, but they can access at any time and put into their notebook. So that way you can have access and the students can have access, but you know that that original cannot be changed. That's a very brief overview of OneNote class notebooks. We will learn how they function within Canvas and how they function within the OneNote app later on in this video. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about that right now. Now that you know a little bit about OneNote class notebooks and what they can do for you and your students, I'm going to demonstrate the process of using the Canvas class notebook LTI to create a OneNote class notebook. The first thing you will need to do is to log into Canvas, and then you will need to locate the course for which you want to create a OneNote class notebook. In this case, I'm going to use the Spring 2019 demo course. I'm going to double click that course so that it launches. Once the course launches, I'm looking for the class notebook option in the course navigation settings. If the class notebook option is not visible and you are a GCSC employee, it is likely that you have turned that off in the course navigation settings. There is a video that will guide you through the process of turning that on. If you are outside of GCSC and happen to be watching and the class notebook option is not available to you, you would want to talk to your administrator to make sure that the class notebook LTI has been enabled. Once you have the class notebook option visible in your course navigation, you are going to single left click on that to load the class notebook add-in. Once the class notebook LTI loads, you will see a screen that looks similar to this. You will notice on the right side there is the scrolling bar for Canvas, and inside of that there is the scrolling bar for the class notebook tool. Just be aware that both of those are there, as you will need to use them both at some time. You will also notice there are seven steps, and we will go through each of these steps, and these steps will essentially guide you through the process of how to create your OneNote class notebook. The first step is to name your course. By default, the LTI is going to pull the name of the Canvas course. If for some reason you wanted to make it a different name, you would simply click in this box and change the name. Once you have the name that you would like, you would select Next to go to step number two. As you can see, step number two is simply a chance for you to review the three types of spaces that are available within a OneNote class notebook. In order to see all those options, I will need to scroll down within the LTI itself. The first space is a collaboration space. This is where students and teachers can work on items together. The second is a content library. I often tell teachers to think of this as a digital file cabinet. This is where you keep your originals and students can make a copy if needed. The final space is a student notebook. These are the notebooks owned by the students, but which can be viewed by the teacher at any time. Once you have reviewed this information, please click Next. The third step of the class notebook creation process allows you to give someone teacher level permission to your class notebook. This is especially useful if you have a co-teacher or a teacher of record who would need this level of permission. If someone meets that requirement, you simply click in this box, type their email address, and then click Next. If no one meets that requirement and you are the only person that will have teacher level permission, you simply click Next and this step will be skipped. Step number four in the class notebook creation process is an important step. This determines how students will be added to your class notebook. Option number one is to automatically add the students from your LMS as they access the notebook. In this case, as students access the notebook within Canvas, they will automatically be added to your class notebook. This is great because you as a teacher do not have to enter any names and students who come after the first day of the year or the first day of the semester will automatically be added to your notebook. The alternative is to manually type in the list of students or to paste a list from somewhere else. I would strongly encourage you to use the LMS option as that makes the creation of the OneNote class notebook much easier. Once you have selected that option, please click Next. 
Step number five in the class notebook creation process is perhaps the most important. This is where you add the notebook tabs that your students will see within their OneNote class notebook. This step requires some forethought and some organization, and you may want to think about this a little bit before you actually get to this step in the process. You will see that by default, four tabs are created for all students. Those four tabs are handouts, class notes, homework, and quizzes. If you would like to remove any of those, you can uncheck those options by selecting the box and having the check mark disappear. Alternatively, you can add more by selecting the Add More option. I would strongly encourage you to think about this beforehand because it is easy to add tabs later on. However, removing tabs can sometimes prove tricky. So if you go and you create a number of tabs and then you decide you don't want those, it can be a little bit difficult to remove those later on once the notebook has been created. So I would strongly suggest at this step, if you have not already, stop and think about what tabs you want for your students and then either remove the ones that are there or add ones that you feel are appropriate for your students. And after you have done that, you will scroll down within the LTI itself and you will click Next. Step six gives you a chance to review your notebook before it is created. You will notice there is a tab right here for teacher notebook and a tab for student notebook. So I can toggle back and forth and I can see what my student notebook is going to look like and what my teacher notebook is going to look like before it is actually created. In the previous step, I mentioned that it was important to lay out your tabs beforehand so that you don't have problems later on. This is a chance to review that information. And as you can see, I have handouts, class notes, homework and quizzes available for the students. If that does not look like what I want it to, I would want to go back to step five and change those tab options before proceeding on to the next step. Once I have something that I like, I will scroll down within the LTI itself and I will click create. Please be aware it may take several minutes to set up your OneNote class notebook. Once your class notebook has been created, you will have three options for opening that notebook. The first option is to open in OneNote, the second option is to open in OneNote Online, and the third option is to download the class notebook add-in for OneNote 2016. Microsoft has indicated that they are moving toward utilizing the OneNote app as the primary method of delivering content for OneNote. Because of that, I'm going to click Open in OneNote. Once I do so, I get this pop-up which asks me if I want to open in OneNote, and I do indeed want to open in OneNote. If you get a pop-up asking you to choose between OneNote or OneNote 2016, please make sure that you choose OneNote and not OneNote 2016. It will take just a few moments for your OneNote class notebook to load, but you can see that I now have my Canvas course title also as my OneNote class notebook title. I have the spaces that I designated for students, and if I click on the class notebook tab, I have the ability to distribute pages to students or distribute sections to students, and those operations will be covered in a subsequent video. But that is the process for starting with OneNote class notebooks. If you have any questions, please let me know.